Hi guys, uh, you'll remember in the uh, the last video, or at least if you saw the last video, if, if you haven't, this won't won't mean a thing. In the last video, I showed you the cell, and I compared it to a capacitor and also to uh, a battery, and um, you saw how when I discharged the cell uh, after it had had volts on it, um, so that charge recovered. Uh, whereas uh, a capacitor doesn't recover from uh, uh, having its charge uh, removed. And um, uh, you know, I thought that there's one final test I should do, and that is um, because of the copper connections to the plates, and both of these plates are uh, under the water, um, uh, I thought, well, there could be a, a, a voltaic action uh, taking place there because of the dissimilar metals uh, in some way. So what I've done is I've uh, lowered the level of the water in the cell, I've taken the plates out, dried them off, um, made sure that the connections are perfectly dry. So now I've only got stainless steel in the water, two sheets of stainless steel, both in the water and um, it's um, uh, about uh, oh I don't know um, a centimeter half an inch below where there's any possible uh, action from dissimilar metals and when I switch on the voltage now um, remember I've got this at a low voltage this is a voltmeter this is a current meter uh, this is on 3 volts DC, this is on uh, 1 milliamp and uh, again what we see is that, uh, that little kick on this meter and it slowly dies down and uh, the voltage here is, uh, that's about half a volt, it's uh, 0.5 of a volt there and when I switch off you'll see that there'll be a reverse action on this meter, or at least if I haven't got the dreadful contrast that I had last time, you'll see that. So I'll switch the power off now. I'll get ready to reverse the meter. So, so you see uh, the, the, the power's off now. Um, there is still a positive voltage, and that positive voltage is coming from there. But when I short out the, the cell, I don't know if you can see that, that's recovering. I'll get you a close-up of that. So, um, really I just wanted to establish that that action was not being caused in any way because of dissimilar metals in the cell. To all intents and purposes, the cell is behaving now uh, exactly the same as it did when I'd got the copper connections covered. So I'll, I'll repeat that again, but I'll, I'll just give you a close-up on the meter. Okay, so this is the current meter. That's my meter reverse button. And this is the uh, power on, so we'll switch the power on. We get that uh, typical kick as it comes up. Um, it's full back, the, the, the cell is effectively charged. And now when I switch it off, you'll see the meter go over to the left and I'm going to uh, press this other button so first of all power off reverse the meter and now these two crocodile clips are across the cell and I short that out and you see it, it recovers and that's exactly what it did um, in the previous video so I think that uh, just really satisfies my mind that um, the uh, situation isn't being confused by having dissimilar metals in the liquid. It could be that there's some um, dissimilar nature to the two sheets of stainless steel, um, but uh, that's as far as I'm going to go with that particular test now. I've had enough of it and uh, the next uh, uh, series of tests will be looking at um, conditions as I vary uh, the uh, the distance between the uh, the two uh, stainless steel plates. Okay, guys. Um, hope you found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.